Welcome back to another episode of Nate and Tech. Today we're going to be doing some work on my 91 Civic sedan. Uh, I'm having some issues with my power windows. I believe it's wiring. So we're going to see if we can track it down. Uh, let me show you what's going on here. <clears throat> so I went and picked up <clears throat> another main switch from the junkyard this morning just to see if it was that and I'm having the same symptoms so I know it's not any of the switches and I've replaced the two rear ones. So the front one goes up and down just fine on the driver's side. Passenger works just fine as well. The rear one, nothing going down. Same thing with the the driver's side. But if I open the driver's door, this one goes up and down. And I still get nothing from the back one. So what I'm thinking, and hopefully the camera can focus on this, is I've got something in this wiring bundle right there that when I open and close the door, it's changing something with these uh, um, with the wiring to going to those two rear doors. So I'm going to see if I can. I found a wiring diagram, and I'll post a link up to where I found it. I'll post a link up to where I found it online. Um, guy actually has a bunch of the service manuals and wiring diagrams and stuff there. So now that I know what the colors are, we're going to see if we can trace them down. I'm going to pull my fender off. Um, do a little time lapse there, pulling that fender off. Hopefully it doesn't give me too much trouble with that uh, the factory mud flaps and stuff in there <clears throat> and the factory plastics. And uh, we're going to do that and then I'm going to tear into that wiring bundle and see if I can trace those wires real quick. Uh, actually what I think I'm going to do first though is we're going to do a continuity test between the wire that goes at least to from the switch here to the back door. So I'm going to pour that back door panel off real quick. We're going to do a continuity test and see if there is a break in that main power wire going from this switch back to that. And that will also let me know if I've got to take a look at that wire in that bundle as well. Okay, now that I got the door panel off, uh, I've already tried new switches uh, from another couple other doors that I have that I know at least were working before. Um, still not getting anything on, on this one. So I'm going to check first. I'm going to make sure that I'm actually getting power to this. And then we'll check that continuity. So let's get this. Thing taken off here, this handle, so I can get out those wires. Okay, now according to my diagram, like I said, I will make this available to anybody. This took me a while to find. So this is our left rear motor. So we should have a green and a black which looks like it's going to be the main power. So we're gonna check and see if I got 12 volts to that. If I don't have 12 volts to that, then this motor won't work regardless, so. <clears throat> so that one's green, green with yellow, green with black. Which one's the ground on this? Look like there isn't one almost. Okay. So there is power. We went 12 volts to that one. That's good. Yeah, I think I've got a short on either the green or the green yellow. Because I'm getting power on one of them. <clears throat> when it's supposed to be grounding out. Let's get this fender off and see if we can uh, find any bad wiring inside there. Right. One, 
dented fender off. All right, see if you guys can see this a little better now. You can see there are three broken wires. It looks like yellow with the blue, a yellow with the green, or green with the yellow, I can't tell. And then there is a, it's like a complete yellow, which that might be the, looks like t probably two for this. Curious where all those go. And what's not working. <laughs> anyway, um, those are all what I have to figure out how to fix. I might try to see if I can go to the junkyard, pull another one of these clips, de-pin these, and then kind of cut the wire out further up, <laughs> splice it in. We shall see if I've got, got one or not. So there are lots of different ways to connect wires together. One way I've always done it, I've had decent luck with it. Um, and since I'm working with such a small piece, I'm going to do it this way. A lot of guys will twist the two together. They'll take two pieces, make them a little bit longer, and they'll, they'll twist. Here, if I can show you. Anyway, they'll they'll take the two wires like this, twist them together, and then pull them so it's it almost kind of looks like a knot. And then they'll solder that knot together, and it pretty much won't ever come apart. I don't really have enough to work with to do that, so I am going to. solder these and I used to have a little tool that would hold all of my wires when I had my shop but for some reason when I moved I lost it so I guess I'm gonna have to go pick one of those up <coughs> I can't seem to find it so what I'm doing now is I'm basically pre-soldering focus There you go. Uh, kinda. Anyway, I'm pre-soldering each one of these so that basically what it is, I'll solder both ends and then I'll hold both wires up together and they'll solder, and they'll heat up and connect and then once I lower them down just a little bit they will be soldered together and then I just heat shrink them. I do have to remember there's one of these that's smaller. Um, all the when I tried to strip these, all of the color coding came off, but I do have a picture of it, luckily, so I know what wire goes to what spot on the Molex connector. Two of them are bigger, and one of them was a smaller smaller wire, so I just have to remember to put the smaller wire in the right, connect, right spot. quite as much solder as I want on the bottom of them. There go. It's okay to have a little bit extra solder on it because you do want it to... You can see that here. So I got a little bit extra solder there. That's fine because once these two connect together you want them to have a nice, nice amount of solder to hold them together and bond. So we do the wires here. I'm going to do both ends of these. And this wire heats up pretty quick so you don't want to hold it on the heat the side iron iron too long or it'll mess up your Your shielding, you know, the plastic on the wire, it's not necessarily shielding. <clears throat> so I'm doing both ends of these so that the only one I have to do when I get over to the car is just the harness itself. It's still in the car, I'm not going to pull the harness to do this. That would be a little overkill.
but at least I only have to solder three wires in the car, or well, in the door jam. And that won't be too bad, I hope. Okay, those are all done. <coughs> so now, I take one with the needle nose. That wire's still warm. Heat this guy up. Basically rub them together until we have a nice connection. see how how well those are connected now that's not going to come undone so I will heat shrink that one and we're ready to move to the next one okay time for heat shrink where's my end here this is the smallest stuff they had it goes down to 3 30 seconds of an inch so I hope it's small enough I'm going to put this all the way up about where the where the, the factory the plastic sheathing would went would go. So right just right past this lip here. That way it's got something to connect to. Okay, so here's our Molex connector. What I'm going to try to do is I don't want to mess up this this piece here. It looks like it might just be taped on. So let's see if I can cut this tape out, cutting through my finger. Or this nice rubber shield that we've got here. Okay. Because what I want to do <coughs> is slide this up out of my way. So I'm going to cut this piece back <coughs> so that I can solder up higher. But I can rewrap this piece. Tough spot right there. Don't cut through my finger, please. So that gives me access to these wires, three that are broken, might even go up a little bit higher. So here's the three wires that I'm going to actually cut off a little bit, lengthen, but what I first want to do, okay so that's a big one, <coughs> so these don't matter. Okay so I ran one little problem, having this going down quite so far. Um, it won't go into the Molex connector, so I'm going to cut off probably about a quarter inch of it with the razor blade here. Hopefully that'll let it go all the way in. Okay, let's see if that one likes it that way. Perfect. And it does actually go in just a little bit, so. Alright, let's take the next 
That's the small one. Big one will cut it as well. And it's nice because I actually have to push it in a little bit. It's kind of got some tension on it. Okay, so I got one of the big ones and one of the small ones into the Molex connector. This one is a little bit too wide um, where I connected the two wires for the, where the solder's at. Let's see if I can get this. I'm going to have to re re solder and heat shrink this guy. Move that. Move that wire up. <clears throat> so if you can see right here, it's just a little bit too thick. So I'm going to probably pull these apart just a little bit and then reheat shrink it. Kind of grabs. All right. So I'm going to have to deal with that one. But let's see if you can see this here. Okay, so my plan is is to take the three wires and cut them so that they're not pulled tight when I actually solder them together. So basically we're going to, it's got some extra slack so I can basically connect it just like that, if you can even see. Each one of these I'll cut to length specifically. Solder, I'm just going to do one at a time. Making sure that I remember to put heat shrink on it before I solder it. It's always fun when you forget that. These ones I might have been able to do. See, I need one more person to sit here and I'll heat it up while I touch them. I may have to call my buddy over. Got a third hand. Right on. Just place it right. Yep, so I can heat them both up so they totally. Okay, good. Nice. Okay. okay, guys. Looks like my battery died on me, but if you can see right here, oh, well, that zoomed in like perfect. Right here, I messed up. I forgot to put heat shrink on before I soldered the two pieces together. So now I gotta unsolder it, put the heat shrink on, put it back together. Hi. Come on, Dad. You're almost there. There we go. <clears throat> Luckily, it's not hard to desolder. Yeah. It's better than a butt connector. Not bad at all. <laughs> go this direction this time. Okay, I'll try this one more time. Okay, one's up there. Now this one, the clip got messed up on there. So it won't actually stay in, so I gotta give it a little bit of pressure, some extra wire. So extra when I push. Yeah, so when I do Daddy, I'm reading my scooter, okay? Okay. Okay. Next. So I'm gonna make it a little extra long so it actually kinda holds itself in. Nice. Oh. Got me at a good time so taking my last bite when you asked to come, oh, ask perfect. Me to come over. <laughs> okay, this solder. I could do this part on my own. But dump a little solder in those wires. Okay, heat shrink. Remember yeah. the heat shrink. Yeah. And actually, this one will be easy because I can do it. Ow, 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 ow. 
old man's knees don't yeah. last. Gotta get you some knee pads. <laughs> right. Wouldn't be a half bad idea. Not really. <clears throat> Okay, so that is the main connector for all your, your the, everything for the driver's door. Oh, right, driver's door goes through here. So power windows, power locks. Sweet. Um, maybe some lights. Mirrors. Oh, mirrors. Power mirrors go through here. So, what I'm going to do? I'm going to heat shrink these real quick, and uh, or put the heat gun on those and heat shrink them. I'm going to put that connector back in, make sure everything works before I button it all up and put the car back together. Okay guys, moment of truth here. Turn the car on. Let's see if this back window. Oh yeah. How about the other one? Down, up, cool. Both the back ones still work. Front one. Perfect. Whew. Oh my gosh, it's bright. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me on this. I'm going to go ahead and get the fender and the door panels put back on and call it a day. Thanks for joining me.